Homo sapiens, Latin. Wise man, is the binomial nomenclature, also known as the scientific name for the human species. Homo is the human genus, which also includes Neanderthals and many other extinct species of hominid. H. sapiens is the only surviving species of the genus Homo. Modern humans are the subspecies Homo sapiens sapiens, which differentiates them from what has been argued to be their direct ancestor, Homo sapiens idolatu. The ingenuity and adaptability of Homo sapiens has led to its becoming, arguably, the most influential species on the planet. It is currently deemed of least concern on the Red List of Endangered Species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. The binomial name Homo sapiens was coined by Carl Linnaeus, 1758. The Latin noun Homo, genitive homines, means, man, human being. Subspecies of H. sapiens include Homo sapiens idolatu and the only extant subspecies, Homo sapiens sapiens. Some sources show Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis as a subspecies, Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. Similarly, the discovered specimens of the Homo radesensis species have been classified by some as a subspecies, Homo sapiens radesensis, but these last two subspecies classifications are not widely accepted by scientists. Traditionally, there are two competing views in paleoanthropology about the origin of H. sapiens, the recent African origin and the multi-regional origin. Since 2010, Genetic research has led to the emergence of an intermediate position, characterized by mostly recent African origin plus limited admixture with archaic humans. The recent African origin of modern humans is the mainstream model that describes the origin and early dispersal of anatomically modern humans. The theory is called the recent out of Africa model in the popular press, and academically the recent single origin hypothesis, RSOH replacement hypothesis, and recent African origin, RAO model. The hypothesis that humans have a single origin, monogenesis, was published in Charles Darwin's Descent of Man, 1871. The concept was speculative until the 1980s, when it was corroborated by a study of present-day mitochondrial DNA, combined with evidence based on physical anthropology of archaic specimens.